what brands want from addressable? Yeah, I, so I think about this question a lot and I think about it in layers as kind of the simplest way to, to, to sort of break it all down because there are many as facets to it. Um, I think the first one is quite simply access and simplicity and the, and the reason I say that is that it's almost becoming a cliche now with regards to TV viewing. How TV viewing is changing right in front of our eyes. We all know that because we're the TV viewers ourselves and we're consuming TV in so many different ways and the choice available to us is becoming vast, you know, whether that's the platforms, channels, devices, times of day, etc. That's brilliant. Brilliant for us as TV viewers. For brands, very, very difficult and becoming harder, much more challenging. It's harder for them to access it, harder for them to navigate it and really to make the most out of that space. So I think that's the first thing. Brands need access to solutions that simplify the addressable TV space for them. That's the first thing. I think that leads on to uh, a really important next layer, which is quality. I think particularly for those advertisers that are heavily invested in digital, maybe less so in TV. The one thing you get with addressable TV is many of those, many of those quality assets that you get from TV advertising. So professionally produced content, particularly in the UK, you know, it's largely broadcaster led, public sector um, broadcasters leading that. So professionally produced content, largely on the big screen, um, with fantastic view through rates, particularly compared to digital, high levels of emotional engagement, um, and all of that good stuff that comes from that. So I think quality, very, very important. Then once we're past those two kind of hygiene levels, we're into, well, what are the use cases? What are the specific use cases for brands? And again, I think we've had a fascinating year this year where we were kind of a startup um, uh, 18 months ago, but we've worked with 250 brands this year. We've run two and a half thousand campaigns. We've delivered almost three billion uh, addressable TV impressions. So Congratulations, that's yeah, it's impressive. Been, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic. But as a result of all of that, we've learned a huge amount. And we've also learned the sort of the, di the diversity of use cases that brands are coming to us for. So, you know, whether that's, you know, we're known as an audience uh, business and addressable TV is thought about from a data point of view for sure. So that's definitely a, a starting point in the, in, in the mindset. So whether that's, you know, advanced audience segmentation, whether that's clients bringing in their own data, whether that's proximity or location targeting, but also taking it a step back, it's incremental reach on top of TV. So there are many, many use cases. Um, and like I said, we, we, we've seen the full spectrum. So what's missing? I'm not sure there's loads missing at the moment. I think, I think in terms of results, that's a big one. Um, again, brands come to us starting from a, typically from a point of view of brand building and brand awareness. But what we've seen out of that as well is actually we're getting you know, some fantastic sort of shorter term business metrics, whether that's you know, store um, footfall or whether it's actual sales. So we're, we're seeing fantastic results. I think there's more work to be done definitely on the latter um, as well to kind of justify um, uh, ad spend coming into, um, uh, in, into addressable, particularly compared to linear perhaps, although the two should complement each other. And I think the other bits that are missing at the moment, all, all, a few, progress has been made, but there's still a lot, you know, room for improvement is around measurement, for sure. Um, obviously people are aware in the UK of Barb and Dovetail, which is progressing. Um, new solutions such as Sea Flight coming from Comcast that the broadcasters are starting to get involved with. And then the likes of us. I mean, we took matters into our own hands with our viewer metric solution because there simply wasn't a way of measuring reach and frequency across the TV ecosystem. So I think that's a big one. And I think the other area at the moment is um, around verification. There's not enough verification happening at the moment, largely because of what's trackable and what isn't trackable with regards to the broadcasters. So maybe that's a UK um, uh, um, piece that's missing at the moment, but it's something we're working on and we'll be able to talk about next year.